Hey, I'd like to show you one of my favorite things about GoZinc, and that's checking out records. And what we mean by that is when we pull a record down from the hosted file, this is the, the hosted uh, sample file that comes with GoZinc, and when we pull that record down, we're going to mark the record as checked out by the mobile user who grabbed it. Um, so let me show you what that looks like, and then we'll talk about how to do it. It's very cool because it gives the folks back at the office the confidence that that mobile record got picked up and who got it and when. So let's take a look at what it looks like, and then we'll talk about how to do it. So I'm going to make a new record over here called Fred Someone, and I'll give him a couple of facts. And then let's go back to here. So there he is. Fred Someone is here, and he's not yet in my mobile file. So let's go get him. And this uh, Gozing Mobile just shows up as a progress bar on iOS, but on the desktop you kind of see the whole thing. So there's Fred. Uh, got pulled down, and if we look at Fred's record, we'll see he was checked out by me uh, Sunday night. Um, and this is just some conditionally formatted uh, text I have down here. Um, you can see on the previous record, um, right, it's not there. It's just there for records um, that we've checked out. So that's cool. It got checked out by John. So then let's say that the mobile user um, makes some notes about Fred and maybe adds a photo of Fred, although I don't, I don't think I have one. Um, changes a couple of facts here. And then he's going to push. So now this is modified. These are the... Um, the sync statuses that are new to uh, GoZinc 4, which is pretty cool. So it, between this and checkout, you can really kind of see what's happening on both sides of the, of the sync equation. Um, so let's send this record back uh, to the host. And there it goes. Now you see it was round tripped. And now it's no longer checked out by John. So that's pretty cool. Um, and what's really neat about it is that that marking of the record is part of the transaction. So if something happened in that sync, the marking um, doesn't happen unless the sync is actually completed. So, so how hard is it to add this to a sync? This isn't something that's built into GoSync. It's kind of latent in there. It's actually really easy to add. So the place we add it is in GoSync Mobile. So to begin with, we have to create the fields for it. So I just created a couple of fields like checked out, timestamp, checked out by, and checked out a, a Boolean um, in our hosted contacts table. So I added that over here. And then the rest of the work is in, done in GoSync Mobile. And we have a little script called custom field mapping. And this is the same script that you would edit if the fields on your hosted and mobile tables are not the same, they're not the same name, but you can use it for a lot of other stuff. So when you come here by default, you'll see um, just some simple TO names like this without any of these fields. This is what, I, what I've added. So what you do is in the pull, we want to mark the record checked out. And then later on in the push, we want to mark the record as not checked out. So all we do is we create a branch, an if statement for the table occurrence we're interested in. And in this case, this is GZH contact. That's my hosted uh, table occurrence. It's really just called contact, but in GoZinc, we've wired up table occurrences with this prefix. So you know which ones are the hosted and down here, which ones are the mobile table occurrences. So basically all you say is you say, hey, if I'm working with the hosted contact file, if I'm pulling, I want you to set the file as checked out, the record, excuse me, the record is checked out, put in the current timestamp and the logged in user's name. You might use get account name here instead. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then the converse is when you push the thing back up, set the hosted, the GZH hosted record to zero and timestamp in here. It's really straightforward. The only thing that's tricky is this if statement. Um, what this if is saying is, hey, when we're about to pull this record back down, we may have just pushed it. So if we just sent it back up and we're just pulling it back down because maybe some field validation happened on the server, or some server-side processes ran, we want to get that record back down to mobile. We don't want to mark it checked out if we just pushed it. So we're actually interrogating this last sync action before we do this. So anyways, this is the pattern. Interrogate the last sync action, then set your fields, and you've just checked the record out. So some pretty cool stuff here. Um, actually, let's uh, save that script. So why do I like this so much? Well, it demonstrates two things. Um, one. You know, ostensibly, all we do when we pull a record down, so let's do it again, um, is move the data from the hosted file to the mobile file. But in this example, we're also marking the hosted record. So we're going in both directions in the same transaction, which I think is pretty cool. Um, the other thing I think is really important here is that this little script here, custom field mapping, because we can interrogate both the mobile and the hosted table occurrence at this point, we can do conditional stuff. For example, we're only marking the hosted record checked out if the mobile record has not just been pushed. We can use the same kind of thing to say, 
you know, maybe mark, um, mark a fact on the hosted record if something else about the hosted record is true. So it's, it's pretty cool that you can get inside the sync and add if statements and really script your sync to, to match your workflow. And I happen to think that this kind of workflow, this checkout, is just a very cool thing. Let's the folks on the server know that John grabbed this record. I mean, maybe this is a patient, you know, that needs to be visited today and we have to make sure they get visited. So I'm gonna check in, you know, midday to see if has no nurse technician checked out this patient yet. Um, and at the same time, you know, you know on the mobile side that you've pulled this record and not, you know, for example, modified it, this modified key, uh, this modified flag, that's my key to let me know that I need to send this record back. I've, I've changed this, I need to sync again, so I'll sync. And, you know, of course, now the record's not checked out anymore. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, I hope you like it. Thanks.